So here is today's tip about how to get the moments with a um, brick element model. So a solid model meshed with brick elements. And we're interested in getting the moments on the ends of this curved beam. Uh, so the user has simply defined on the surfaces a fixed uh, support on each surface, which basically results in reaction forces. So this analysis was already done and here we can see uh, that there is no reaction moment uh, reported. Why? Because simply uh, all the nodes that are um, present this model are basically attached to brick elements and brick elements do not have any rotation degree of freedom which means that uh, they do not um, resist to any moment uh, which means that there will be no reaction moment um, reported. Although, of course, uh, there will be a f an effect of moment due to the differences in reaction forces on each node. Uh, so we can get this reaction moment by basically defining one node which will be attached to all the nodes uh, on this surface so that the all the reaction forces are summed on a single node. Uh, so this can be done by defining basically beams which will be uh, attached to all these um, nodes on the surfaces and then uh, all the beams will come to the center of the surface. So let's go and uh, first uh, delete these uh, supports because we won't be using these supports on both sides. We'll first uh, select the surface so we are in selection mode of surface and then go uh, to centroid creator which is here right here so we can either first select the surface or click on this we'll get this but dialog box just make sure that you have one surface cached here and there is a button here which says a check box which says connect centroid to surface with spoke so this is exactly what we need because then all nodes on this surface will be connected to the centroid where we will define our support. So we'll have one node which will be connected to beam elements, line elements, and as line elements do have a uh, rotation degree of freedom, we will be able to get our moment uh, reaction. So um, this will define basically one new part that that's why you see part two, because all the lines which will be connected to the centroid uh, will need a part number to be attributed which is shown here so we'll say that this will be part two basically uh, auto stimulation automatically gets the next um, available part number so you don't have to worry about this just make sure that you have checked connect and try to surface with spokes here so let's click on OK uh, so one thing here you can see that uh, it did not select the edges here why because simply uh, the mesh is two cores in our case and the edges all one two three four edges are not considered in this surface they are rather part of the other surfaces right so no problem um, we can create quickly some lines and say that these lines will be added to part two because these red are simply lines and we know we have the points we know where we want to go so we can define these lines manually and don't use as construction because they will be part of our part they will uh, be our part in our part not as construction but as elements so part two surface one uncheck users construction and the surfaces uh, the lines that I'm going to create now will get added to our part as you can see so quickly just create the missing lines otherwise uh, these uh, will be free uh, these nodes will be free to move and we will get some stress concentration uh, so just to make sure that the whole surface will be defined as um, rigid or supported we need to make sure that all nodes are connected to the centroid so here we have uh, this situation right so here we need to define what type of element so quite simple because we have a rigid um, element type just make sure that uh, you select rigid and that you have all your nodes uh, connected to a single node this is one uh, condition that we have to respect if you want to use rigid elements so all the elements 
line elements in this part should come to a single node which is the case uh, here and that's why we used centroid creator basically to get automatically all the lines connected to the centroid of the surface so rigid okay and element definition is missing so just go through it quickly and it simply wants us to open it and make sure that the stiffness is uh, uh, relatively high as compared to our uh, model so that it is uh, considered as infinitely stiff so just make sure that stiffness is high as compared to the rest of the model and all the degrees of freedoms are checked so that uh, this part red part or red beams they cannot rotate or translate in any direction they are perfectly rigid this is what we want so just uh, check everything is okay and click OK nothing to change in, in this dialog box and here we go we have our um, element defined so we are going to do exactly the same thing on the other side uh, and uh, run the analysis right um, so one more thing before I do the same thing on the other side is of course to define a support so here we will define this point the center point as uh, our fixed support so I'll just hide um, my construction points construction vertices to clearly see my uh, centroid here uh, and <clears throat> make sure here that you are in select vertices create um, general constraint select here the vertex fix support and OK so we have one support here we'll do exactly the same thing on the other side create the centroid define the support and <clears throat> define our um, rigid, uh, rigid element okay so select the surface select the surface draw centroid creator next available is three okay different part different color right create lines in part three quickly just make sure that you are selecting the right nodes escape to disconnect basically because here it is by default in continuous line format and you don't want all the lines to be connected to each other we just want the, the uh, nodes on the surface to be connected to the centroid so here we have this completed right and we have to define the same attributes so here another tip is just copy all attributes and paste here all attributes and here you go you get a copy of um, the same attributes element type of rigid and all the rest is the same that's what we want as well and one more support so go to setup make sure that you have vertices uh, view construction is off perfect so just select our vertex and setup general constraint fixed we have one nodal selected okay one node selected and we have our fixed support here so we have our spiders uh, that's how they are called we have our rigid elements right same properties so they get same color by default initially they were created with different colors but as we have copied all the attributes the color is uh, copied as well uh, so no problem let's launch the analysis um, with the same force same everything and we now will get the moment results as well which were absent previously so uh, quick analysis and we get our moment here right here right okay so this one here will be a moment X around X axis so reaction moment around X axis on this one right make just to make it clearly visible I will hide the main part and here you go you have your part here you can select on the node right click inquire results and we have here a moment of uh, 184 uh, so something like this okay so here is the value uh, okay on the other side this one will be moment around Z okay so moment around Z and on the surface or whatever you want to display we'll look for moment around Z and click right click inquire result here you go here you have the moment 
so that was about how you can uh, basically uh, get moment for on a support while working with a model that is done purely with uh, sh uh, break elements so you can get uh, for my stress as well <clears throat> so here we, we can see that all the edges are supported and here we have a stress concentration but that might need some refined mesh because the mesh is very coarse in this model so let's just see the mesh and here you can see that you have your maximum or red spot on a node which is sort of an indication that this is due to a very coarse mesh and uh, before we can decide if it's a real concentration or if it's the right value I would recommend um, refine the mesh and have at least three elements in the thickness to get the best result thank you